Salam dia, boa noite. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? It's Uprising here, and welcome you guys to the official final episode of the Monster Hunter 1 walkthrough. Uh, as you guys can see, this is more of a demonstration purpose rather than a full-fledged kill and whatnot. Uh, at this point, I kind of tried everything with Fatalis, and I pretty much have come to the conclusion that is basically it is kind of on the more impossible side to kill her within 15 minutes at least solo wise it's for for me at least it's pretty impossible but gave it a good shot i tried to do the uh i tried hammer with the onslaught hammer so that was about a thousand damage or so strongest weapon in the game still couldn't do it uh and uh, this strategy was just a makeshift one of uh, infinite demon stance mega juice and just hammer fatalis as much as possible and see if it would work but tis unfortunate doesn't work uh, ultimately in my favor which is it is what it is it's pretty cool uh, thing hits like a freaking truck though it's like the dragon itself at least attack pattern wise is not hard at all but then like it hits about twice as hard as plessy even with the best armor in the game so it's really freaking interesting um but give it my all, guys. Uh, I tried to do this strat a, you know, a couple days in a row. Tried a different strat. Tried a great stor uh, great sword strat. Tried even a lance, almost semi headlocking strat. Still didn't work. Um, so at least from what I can tell, this is definitely the more impossible one. But give it my all. Hopefully you guys can definitely enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much where that's gonna go. So I wanted to. to pretty much thank everyone at this point in time you know it's it's been crazy for me the whole ride for this entire walkthrough series has just been pretty wild for me it's i started this project three years ago back in oh actually wait it's 2007 oh, shit we're almost closer to 2018 that's nuts um but i started this project damn actually four years ago at this point Four years ago, I started this walkthrough of MH1, and it has just been extremely nuts. Uh, I've had a lot of, a lot of awesome times with this game, and still love it to this day. This is the uh, game that got me into Monster Hunter, um, and you know, I, I just would revisit the series uh, years ago after 2005, or after in this case 04, and or 05, whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, starting this project was basically just one, it was just, it literally was just a, I saw a video on YouTube, uh, the whole, who was it? It was Psycho Smoke. Psycho Smoke, if you're still out there, dude, I still have much respect for you, man. Um, watched his walkthrough of this game and noticed I still had a pretty much perfect condition disc of MH1 still in the, still tucked away and was just like i don't see a lot of videos on this game so i'll definitely uh give it my all and see what i can do walkthrough wise i didn't really know it was gonna blow up the way it did but it's, it's pretty awesome uh obviously i've had some ups and downs on my personal you know youtube channel and such for those of you guys that may be older subscribers or new subscribers uh, or even just watching this vid you know i've definitely had some dips and dives in my own channel i definitely have taken a lot of breaks from this per from this walkthrough personally when this is the one that really really helped me skyrocket in into the into the fray and also just helped me really establish my core audience and not only that but really just pretty much everything literally everything um so it's it's been wild so i'm really happy because I didn't think there was still an audience left, so I was kind of worried about that. I was like, well, let me just finish the walkthrough regardless of anyone who, you know, my older audience, if they're still around or, you know, because I, I didn't really know. And needless to say, I mean, you guys have just been extremely awesome viewers. You you guys really have, because I didn't think I this <laughs> the, MH, uh, the MH community would still be around. I thought uh, people would pretty much just move on from... The channel at this point because I was just doing different things and whatnot and taking breaks and then I'd come back two years later f uh, finish the offline portion of the walkthrough and then pretty much called it there and, and a lot of people were just like wait wait there's still the online quest there's still the bonus hunts you can still do a lot and uh, at the time I just didn't want to because I didn't have a strong enough PC to kind of handle everything or handle the emulate uh, the emulation 
and I mean now obviously that's changed now I do so uh, I'm happy that I was able to finish this project this is this this is just I don't know if I'll ever top this one I, I don't know it's just it's awesome to know that this is uh, this is the project that just kick-started everything for me and to see it finally end um, is kind of breathtaking for me almost surreal <laughs> almost surreal but I love it I, I, I have a lot of respect for MH1 like I said this is the this is the one that's really gonna teach you uh, nothing's given to you you have to farm everything you have to do everything yourself uh, and it's quite hard on the on the console Whew, this this game was pretty rough so Fatalis um, is possible, I think, if I could get the Code Breaker's time extension code to work. Uh, for some reason, Code Breaker code, that, the, the time extension one, the time modifier, well, to extend uh, the, the, uh, hunts, the hunts time from, like, let's say, this quest is 15 minutes, well, maybe I can make it into 50 minutes. For some reason, the codes weren't adding together. They weren't bas they weren't coinciding with one another. What I mean by that is, the code mod, the quest modification code, and the time modifier really wasn't working together. I tried quite a few things, and it just wasn't working. So, uh, if I'm doing something wrong, then it's definitely possible to kill Fatalis solo easily with a, uh, a with a time modifier. Without the time modifier, kinda on the impossible side, or at least I've tried everything that I know and uh, still couldn't do it. So, for uh, if somebody out there can show me what I'm doing wrong, maybe <laughs> then I will definitely come back and make a side video of me killing Fatalis. But as it currently stands, she's impossible. So, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, showing you guys video footage that I tried, you know, is uh, is good enough. <laughs> good enough to end the series so uh yeah i mean i had a lot of fun i had a lot of fun uh with this with mh1 mh1 was an absolute blessing in disguise such a beautiful game uh oh also for anybody that will be asking about corinne corinne as far as i've know as far as i know and i've read is impossible not too sure of the reasoning other than most people cannot find either can't find her specific uh, coding in game um, but her quest was a event quest it wasn't actually coded as a unlockable or an online quest it was technically an online quest but it was an event quest at least from my understanding it's been so long I can't remember so unfortunately I can't showcase Corinne um, so the walkthrough will just have to end with Fatalis or at least me attempting Fatalis um, so my apologies but it's it's all good because I can revisit her in other Monster Hunter games just fine um, at least the ones I've been working on uh, from what I can tell at least so if I don't hit if I don't hit her up now, then I can definitely hit her up later. Um, so one thing I thought would be fun, outside of just giving some reminiscing about the game and just the walkthrough and everything, uh, again, shout outs to all the fans out there, shout outs to the Monster Hunter community, and uh, shout outs to my viewers and subscribers. You guys are truly amazing. Um, but I thought this. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to piece my words together because again this is a little surreal for me this is this is the official last episode of the mh1 walkthrough hopefully by the time this video comes out uh, I've updated the playlist fully and I've um, finally fixed uh, a lot of the episodes some of the episodes were in mixed order which uh, my apologies for that so the playlist should be completely updated by now as well as I'll be and I'll be adding um, customized end screen annotations so that way um, at the end, starting, I think, episode one or episode two of this walkthrough, um, the, the end portion will have an end screen annotation, and in that annotation, it, or in that end screen, uh, end portion of the video, there'll be a annotation that you can click on, or, like, two videos will pop up, uh, well, 
three technically. One would be, I think, a direct link to the channel itself, and the other two would be the previous episode and the next episode. So you no longer have to look on the side tab to go to the next episode. You can just click the end screen. Uh, one of the, the annotation, I believe, will be to the right. Uh, you can click on that and it'll take you directly to the next episode, which is sick. Uh, thank you, YouTube, uh, for doing that YouTube and me never noticing that you guys implemented that feature. You know, all this time I've been using Sony Vegas and it's like I never really thought to do that because uh, the walkthrough had its own old school kind of YouTube feel and whatnot. Hence why I never also did custom thumbnails for it because I just, I loved the fact of like, I don't know, it, it, no no custom thumbnails added added to the whole old school feel and whatnot. But as it stands, I've updated the channel description, I've updated everything from here on out. All my content will be Monster Hunter related. Uh, however, I think I'm going to stick more towards the classics because the classics are just, not a lot of people do the classics. And I feel that um, the classics have a lot of flavor, a lot of an art a very big artistic value and um, it's just sick. It really is. Uh, also, I'm showing you, showcasing to you guys the Japanese uh, version of MH1's opening. Sorry, there probably isn't going to be any audio playing, uh, but this is just mainly access footage as I talk to you guys. So, and the, the intro, uh, the intro from the Japanese version to the P uh, to the North American PS2 version is extremely different, and I didn't notice that. Uh, but I thought it'd be very cool for you guys to see. For those of you, uh, for those of you that have not seen it. So, another thing that I thought would be extremely, extremely fun to do is give you guys a little bit of a, more of an analytical side. So, number one, again, shout outs to all the viewers out there. No matter where you're from in the world, shout outs to you. Uh, you guys are hella awesome for taking the time out of your day to look at the walkthrough and just you know watch my videos it's absolutely sick but i thought it'd be a even better idea to check out my analytical side to see who was really really watching this walkthrough from like start to finish like who was my core audience for this entire time and surprised to say <laughs> it was kind of extremely interesting because there was uh, a couple countries out there that really surprised me. So uh, th without further ado, <laughs> these are the top five countries, uh, five, I guess you can say, Monster Hunter communities out there that were watching this video or that were watching the videos. So number one being uh, my core audience, my core fan base, obviously the United States of America, USA. I mean, I'm, I'm here, I live in the US, so... Uh, quite awesome uh, no surprise there i mean surprise and no surprise uh united states being my most viewed that was uh pretty cool so i mean shout out to the usa you guys are awesome uh number two my biggest audience out there or my second biggest audience out there brazil shout outs boa <laughs> boa brazil brazil being my second major audience, uh, Brazil, as far as I remember, when I checked the analyticals or analytics um, a couple years ago, uh, Brazil was definitely in the top. Yeah, Brazil was definitely, definitely up there. So that's extremely cool to see. Um, shout outs to Brazil. Shout outs to the, the Brazil familia down there. You know, I mean, I'm not Brazilian. I am, uh, I am of Puerto Rican descent, though, so it's very cool to see. Third one, this one was super, super, super cool. Didn't realize this game, or in general, the Monster Hunter game franchise was extremely big over here. But after I did some research, I found out and I was like, wow, that's really freaking cool. You know, it doesn't matter where, it really doesn't matter where you come from. Um, we're all different, but we all, you know, hunt together and everything. Indonesia, Indonesia is, I don't even know what to say. Indonesia? Yeah, I mean, it, there's a huge MH community in Indonesia. That's that's hella fucking sick. Shit, man. I mean, <laughs> not too sure what to say. Um, 
I, I'm hopefully I won't butcher this, but uh, you know, to all you uh, to the Indo to the, excuse me to the Indonesian Monster Hunter community that was following my journey uh, up until this point, uh, Tarima Kasi. I hopefully I did not butcher that, but that's hopefully that's thank you in Indonesian. I mean, thank you guys. Seriously, I, I didn't expect that. I would never have guessed it. I, I honestly would never have guessed that uh indonesia was just so big in a monster hunter but it, again it, it just goes to show you it does not matter where you're from and move uh taking another step forward with that number four my largest audience for uh this walkthrough thai thailand shout outs to thailand bangkok uh phuket wherever you're from in thailand seriously shout outs to you guys Y'all are awesome. I don't know how to say thank you in Thai. Uh, I definitely would butcher it. I'm sorry. So uh, I won't try. But uh, thank you. Seriously, thank you. The, the, that's a blessing in disguise. Um, I'm not too sure what else to say. But seriously, thank you to uh, the Thailand MH community. You guys are stupidly awesome. And uh, I don't know. I would love to visit Thailand. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to sometime soon. Um, and last but not least, the, the fifth most viewed uh, country for this walkthrough, specific, uh, particularly as of today, uh, all uh, analytics are as of today, 10-11-2017, so this definitely was fluctuating, and the fifth spot was so close, I was watching this for the past couple days as I was working on Fatalis, oh man, it was so close, uh, so so close these two countries were neck and neck but as as of today i i gotta give it to where credit is i, I gotta give it to the person that really won it germany i Deutschland. danke danke thank you very much thank you germany for being awesome you guys were very close you know to losing it it was it was literally i think like 10 a 10 minute overall difference but it was between Germany and Mexico. Shout out to La Familia over in Mexico. Or Mexico. Yeah, shout out to the uh, Gureras and Gureros. You know, we're, we're still fam. We're still fam. We're still Spanish. You know, we got it. We got it. <laughs> shout out, shout out. Shout out to everybody. Everybody that viewed the walkthrough, no matter where you're from in the world. Just goes to show you, Monster Hunter has no boundaries. It, it, it has no boundaries. You can be from anywhere, and you can hunt with anyone at any time. This game, you really, this game franchise, it unites people, and that's what it's here for. And uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this walkthrough, and it's all of its entirety. Uh, I will see you guys in a new future project coming really, really soon. Um, it's going to be very exciting. Very, very excited to... Uh, delve into it let me know if you want the next monster hunter walkthrough to be commentary or non-commentary i will record an episode but i will not uh start work really really working on it until i get a lot of feedback for it commentary no commentary you guys decide the next one uh so if my voice is annoying just let me know but other than that though guys peace take care I will see you all very soon in uh, another, the next upcoming Monster Hunter walkthrough. We'll see where Celestia's journey goes. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Peace. Take care. And uh, estara da estara. Take care, guys. Peace.